When you're an independent person, a lot of times you feel like you don't need advice. You know what you got to do. It's just a matter of doing it. But then every so often you get to the point where you're like, ah, oh, I really do need help. I really need, do need somebody to bounce ideas off of. But then at that point, if you haven't nurtured a lot of relationships, there is nowhere to turn. Well, I've got some ideas. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where moms of all different backgrounds share the ups and downs and hacks of juggling career and kids. I'm Mocha Mom, this is my vlog, I'm sharing the successes and failures in my life, and I want to tell you that a lot of times I feel like I don't have close friends I can turn to quickly. I have a lot of friends in my life who have been in my life for a long time, and if I really needed somebody and I reach out, I know they'll get back to me. I had a big crisis recently when I reached out to about a dozen people and they all contacted me back and said I don't have time now but if you really need something I can come through I can talk to you later I eventually found a friend to get together with and I'm actually seeing her tonight she was a huge help to me a couple months ago when I was going through a really hard time with my daughter and she gave me a lot of great advice that helped me understand exactly how to deal with the situation, a perspective I didn't really know, the fact that this is a lot more common than I realized, and it was really a relief. This is somebody I met through a professional relationship, but her and I have really become close friends, and we're going to get together again tonight, and that's the way you nurture those relationships, is to keep in touch with people. Every so often, I'll hear from her, or she'll hear from me. Mostly, she contacts me and sends me an email and says, hey, let's get together, or I sent her something that I was supposed to follow up on, and then she she contacted me back and said let's get together so I'm glad she did that we haven't made our exact plans for tonight but we're gonna get together but what do you do when you're trying to get that advice sort of on a moment's notice everything seems fine you're handling everything on your own and then all of a sudden something comes up and you're like oh, I really need a friend but my friends are busy or I feel bad reaching out to them a lot of times some of my best friends are people I don't even know they're all of the mentors that I have who I listen to in podcasts and through audiobooks. And so while it's of course important to nurture friendships, get together with friends every once in a while, there are often times when you don't have that. And I have met some people recently, some moms who told me that their community, their tribe of friends is an online group. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's great because somebody there is almost always available. You can reach out to that group of people and it's a big group so somebody's gonna respond you feel like you can be yourself around them because as she said you're not opening yourself up to all of Facebook it's just a select group of people who are not harsh with each other not judgmental and understand each other and are like-minded and so I listen to a lot of books that I feel are very inspiring and a lot of times it's just my chance to get away I'm having a frustrating day I get on my bike, I put on my headphones, and I listen to a book, and it's inspirational. I just finished Melinda Gates' book, The Moment of Lift. I loved it, and I have some favorite podcasts that I listen to. For a while, I was listening to a lot of parenting podcasts because I was having issues with my kids, but thankfully, some of that is past, and some of my favorite podcasts now include Gary V and Tim Schmoyer, video creators, because I'm putting together this YouTube channel, so you should reach out. Find some authors or some poets or something on the internet even if it's um, uh, some website that gives you regular inspiration or just information or advice of course whenever we have a problem a lot of people reach out and do research on the internet but I'm talking about something a little bit different somewhere where you feel comfortable inspired and with like-minded people Podcasts are great for that, and of course, keep nurturing those friendships. I just had a great bit of advice from a mom friend, not a mom friend, a mom that I was interviewing recently, and I want to try to do this with one of my friends. I suggested it to her. It's one of my closest friends who I hardly ever see because she's so busy, and so am I, but she told me, the mom that I interviewed, said she doesn't have time to get together with her girlfriends, but they plan FaceTime talks, and they each have a glass of wine and chat on FaceTime for like a half an hour 
hour to catch up. I'm like, what a great idea. Then it doesn't take like two weeks to plan something and then something comes up, the kids are sick or whatever. You can do it from home. And so I'm definitely gonna try that and tell you how it turns out and I hope you do too. So click on the next video to get some more inspiration and tips for your working mom life and subscribe to my channel so we can be together in this community of working moms. And don't forget, spread a little of your own love to another mom who needs it.